Hey, what's going on? It's Big Rhyme. I'm going to show you how to use the Adderall PCR series keyboard with Sonar Act feature. Um, pretty much Adderall has, or Roland, has made this keyboard really specifically for Sonar in mind. And um, I mean, even though you can use the Act feature with other MIDI keyboards, it's very, very convenient with this one. So if you use Sonar, um, the, the PCR 500, 300, or the 800 is, is very good. Um, the difference between the 300, 500, and 800, I think the 300 is a 25 key, I believe. I might be wrong. Um, the PCR 500 is a 49 key, and the 800 is a 61 key. That's the difference. Other than that, all the knobs and buttons are the same. Um, I use USB. So being that I use USB, I have to turn on my PCR 500 first before I turn on Sonar. If I do it afterwards, Sonar is not going to recognize the USB connection. So turn on your PCR first, then turn on your, your Sonar. If you're going through MIDI cable, you do not. I have to do that. Then the next thing I need to do is um, go to options, control surface, which is the third selection. And I already got it set up. I'm going to delete it. it basically, when you go to control, um, controllers and surfaces, um, you want to hit the yellow star and it's going to say add new controller surface, which is to your right. And it's going to say act MIDI controller. You want to click on that. You want to select Adderall PCR 300. Again, it doesn't matter if you have 500, 800, 300. You select that one. All right, then you want to select your MIDI port. Um, whatever MIDI port you're using, whether it's the USB or your MIDI port on your, on your sound card, you select it. If, you, um, if you're going through USB like me, you want to click on the import because your MIDI um, import on your sound card is going to be the default. And you want you gonna have a choice of Adderall PCR MIDI N, Adderall PCR one, and Adderall PCR two, and you want to choose Adderall PCR two. And as far as output, doesn't really doesn't really affect the PCR, so leave it as is. Hit OK, and now you are t you know set up for the um, controller or act feature and sonar. Um, on the PCR PCR series keyboards, they have a button called Dynamic Mapping, and on with this button basically activates the Act feature. Now I will tell you, when I bought the PCR 500, it did not work with Sonar until I got the update for Cakewalk. So if you don't have the update for it, it probably won't work. It didn't work for me. I was frustrated. I was calling Sonar. They told me to get the update. I got the update and um, it works perfectly. But once I hit the dynamic mapping button, which is um, on your left side, and it's a button right beside your volume knob, you hit that. Boom, all your controls pop up. And it tells you, um, which you know what knobs does what what button does what and so forth now and if i just want to hide this page if you go to the middle of the keyboard under the slider you hit c3 and it has it the uh, the feature still on but it has that that page so let's load up uh software and load up v station So now, if I hit C3 again, it pops up and it tells me what knob is controlling what. So let's say if I get confused and I don't know what knob is doing what, I just hit the C3 and it does it automatically. And when I turn the knob, it 
Let me find another sound that's more interesting. And I'm using the PCI 500 to control the knobs and stuff. And you can change um, what knob that a uh, certain knob changes. So let's say you got, um, let's use a slider. All right, this slider is controlling the delay. Let's say I wanted to control the attack instead. I hit the act button that's within the uh, soft surf. It has an act button in the right corner. And then you move a knob or slider that you want to control. Then move a knob or slider that's on the keyboard. And then hit the act button again. Then it says one parameter, one control was touch. Do you want to keep these assignments? Yes. Then boom. Now when I move it, I'm moving that slider. It's very, very easy. Very, very easy. And every time you load that, I load that software up, it's going to remember that I want this slider to control the, that slider on the software. Um, and that's pretty much in a nutshell how to use the PCR with the app feature in Sonar. Um, if it's not this easy, something's not right. I mean, it's truly that easy. Peace. Oh, yeah. Make sure you go to Big Grime. Go to myspace.com slash big grime number one. And you don't have to spell one out. It's the actual number one. All right. Peace.